Hello and welcome to Reinfused. Today we are playing Dai Makai Mura on the PC Engine Super Graphics. Uh, that's better known outside of Japan as Ghouls and Ghosts. Yeah, it's a fairly renownedly hard game. Uh, you've seen my ability with games, so this should be fun. Let's give it a shot. This is uh, one of the relatively few games that came out on the Super Graphics. I mean, the total was about eight. Uh, and yeah, we see a little diorama there of, uh, of what's happened. So, uh, guy's missus has been killed or captured. So yeah, so this is basically it. So it's a run and well, thrower. So we've got, we're throwing lances at the moment. There are other weapons you can pick up as it goes along. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd say <laughs> offhand that this is a bit easier than other versions, because I'm pretty sure I don't normally get that far. Now there are chests, but this one I think is a fake one, yeah, so it's got... So if you get hit by that... Oh yeah, you get turned into a chicken, which, yeah. Um... There we go. <laughs> uh, there are some lovely touches in this game. It, this is, by the way, a fantastic game before we... go any further. It's, that, it, it is. Oh, there we are, we've got a sword. Now, what the sword doesn't do is give us a range attack, which is a problem. So, uh, yeah. Right, this I think is a problem. Yeah, so this gives us extra armor so we can survive more hits. Oh, not that helps that much. So, yeah, the basic way this works is you've got effectively two lives. So you've got. <laughs> you've got your armor, and once you lose your armor, then uh, you're going to. Um, to be your bare skin, and that's it. If you take another hit, you're dead. <laughs> oh, I started with a sword, which is interesting. Don't know, it's been a while since I played it, so maybe it was always like that. Oh, this guy again, why did I do that? You can avoid the shot, it's not so bad. Oh, not good. We're already down to our skin at this point. <laughs> That's not good. Right, we want to hit this because we want to get that armor. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh my word! Okay, <laughs> let's. It's uh, right. So we definitely. That's always. Oh, yeah, you can come. That is. That's always a uh, a vampire wizard thing in the first chest. So we ignore that. This should be the golden armor. Yep, yeah, there we go. Golden armor. Not sure what exactly you get extra of the golden armor. Seems it's still we still lost in two shots, but hey. So yeah, obviously these were just uh, the guillotines. We just have to not hit. I think these are actually. I think the sword makes dealing with the vultures a little bit easier because they the vultures tend to fly at quite low level, and so you can miss them with the projectile shots. Right. <laughs> The graphics, by the way, are just astounding. Like this, we've got little storms going through now. And the trees, it's beautiful. Uh, the sound is really good as well. I love the music. Ah! Uh... No! <laughs> it is a bit easier on the PC Engine, but it's uh, it's still unforgiving, right? <laughs> You know what? Uh, Ghouls and Ghosts is a fantastic game to start with. This is a fantastic port. It looks amazing. The animation is really nice. The graphics are really nice. The sound is great. Some of the sound effects, like the rusting trees and stuff, is especially good. The music's great. So it's hard to get because it's, uh, you know, again, it's one of the few games made for the Super Graphics before it was pulled. But uh, it's worth getting. I mean, there are great ports of this on lots of different consoles but uh, this is a particularly fantastic port right thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video please hit like if you really enjoyed the video please hit subscribe if you didn't enjoy the video or you have something else to say then please leave it in the comments below see you next time